by giving away a pair of Jordans. These are Jordan 4 Retro Blues, and this is what they look like. It's hard for me to, to answer it in a way... It's just hard for me to get this off my chest, and... Guys, the last few months of my life have been crazy. I've gone from being nobody to having a platform of over 27,000 people where I can share content on the daily. And it's hard, sometimes it's so tough to think of new ideas and new videos. You've got to constantly adapt and change up what you're doing. You see, I started this YouTube channel as a reason to document the repairs on cars for when I sell them so that I could be more transparent with the sellers and they could trust the work that had been done on the cars that they were buying. But since then, things have changed dramatically. I've shown you into all of my own life, I've shown you out into my business, and I've also taken you into my personal life. I'm becoming more confident on the camera and I'm showing you an insight into my personality which you didn't really get at the start of the videos. Some of my recent videos, there's been a few questions asked and some people haven't started to like it. But if I'm honest, I've just been myself and I'm just showing you guys what I'm actually like out of camera because I feel like a lot of YouTubers, the person you see behind the lens and the person they actually are, are two very different people. And I've seen that myself and I don't wanna be like that. I wanna be the type of person that you see on camera and then when you see in public, I'm the exact same and you know the type of person I am. I'm not two people. So I'll get onto that later in the video. But to start this video, I've had a crazy idea with my truck. I'm so bored of my truck. Honestly, so bored of driving that truck around, so I'm gonna give it a complete makeover. I'm talking pimp my ride style. So I've just purchased a load of new wrap from Hexus, and I am going to wrap my truck myself with the help from my brother-in-law. Well, my girlfriend's brother. I've never wrapped a car before. He's had a little bit of experience, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna smash it, and it's gonna look sick. I'm gonna be doing some more customizations for my truck, like new wheels and other bits, etc. But I'll get onto that later in the video. But first, let's unbox the wrap and see what colours I've got. I've also got some headlight tin and some window tin as well. So let's get into it. So just before I jump into the Hexis boxes, we've got four of them. I've actually got two other parcels I'd quickly like to show you guys. This one I've already opened, but it's from Enola Gay, and I've got three smoke bombs. I've got two in black and I've got one in pink. Um, I actually ordered these ages ago for when I had the pink McLaren because I had some crazy idea but obviously we haven't got that now so I'm going to have to find some way to incorporate the smoke bomb so if you've got any suggestions leave them in the comments below but um, I'm sure I'll think of something because I'm a bit of a nutter anyway isn't I? and then my second box is actually today's video sponsor this is from Y Food Y Food have completely changed the way I view my diet they are full meal replacements. You can get them in the little bottles, like this one which I'm drinking today, which is the coffee flavour. 400 calories. That sums my personality up. 400 calories. And then this is the new range they do. A protein shaker and a full pouch, which is actually a whole meal. So that is the new fresh berry flavour, which is banging. I've actually had this before. A lot of you guys have been saying I'm a bit of a nutter. I look like I'm on drugs all the time. That's just me, you know, that's just me. I'm high on life all the time and I'm just happy to be here and I wake up positive every day. And living a lifestyle like that when you're constantly on the go and you're crazy, this is where this bad boy comes into play and it's so vital for me to be fueled and have the right vitamins and nutrients. This has over 50 vitamins and nutrients in there, so I'm just ready to go. And I don't actually have to stop at the garage, pick up the junk food and, and have a look in there. I can just grab the drink and I'm off ski. So if you're about your health and you care about yourself, get on my food now, use Henry 10 and get yourself something on there, try it. And as soon as you try it, there's no stopping it. So that is today's sponsor. So thank you to Y Food for sponsoring today's video. Anyway, back onto the Hexis wrap, which we're all desperate to see the color of. I haven't actually seen the color of it yet. This is the first time I'm opening it as well. So, I don't know what's in what box. I think we'll start with the little boxes. These are the light tins, so um, what's my best way of opening it? So I haven't actually seen these before. So I have never wrapped a car before and I've never ever tinted headlights before. So this is all new to me and I'm so excited to see how it goes. But you know what, my philosophy in life is just jump feet first in and if it works out, it works out. And if not, then worry about that later. So this has to be the window tin. You can see it's quite a dark shade actually, so 
I think the police will probably be pulling me over with this. Look at that bad boy. It doesn't actually have a percentage on it, it's just uh, medium dark. I actually ordered a darker one, but they called up and said that they can't sell me that one for uh, legal reasons, so. Then this, then in this one, this must be, where have I put this in? This must be the uh, headlight tin. I actually only ordered a grey in the headlight tin because I wanted the overall car to look sort of the same. I didn't want to have different colours because I was tempted to order a yellow headlight tin. There's the tin. It's got a little bit, I don't know if you guys can see it, of an iridescent look to it. It's got a tiny bit. Can you see? It's like greeny, blacky. So that's going to look absolutely wavy. It's also... They said, when you look at it in some lights, it's got a brown tinge to it. What colour is the wrap? I'm so excited to see this. It's very controversial, and there has never been a Ford Ranger in this colourway in the UK. I will be the first person to do it, so it's either going to go down well. Mama coffee. Woohoohoo! That is fire, guys. Check this out. One second. Look at that colour. Woo! That is satin chocolate brown. As you can see, the colour in the light is amazing. It's got that two-tone coppery brown look, which is exactly what I wanted. Something different, something never done before. The reason I've actually decided to wrap my car was because I was watching Matt Armstrong's video the other day where he uh, wraps his M4. And I see him do it, and he's very good at it, and he made it look really easy. So I thought... Why not try it myself? So I've bought the wrap from Hexus, which are the best, best in the game for wrap. These are the company who actually supplied the wrap for the month for my McLaren, the pink chrome. You can get that on the website as well. So I ordered this, ordered all of the tint off there, and I thought, with my brother-in-law, we're gonna give it a go. He's actually wrapped a couple of cards before, so he's got a little bit more experience than me, but I am a complete virgin to the wrap game. So this should be interesting and it should be funny. So wait for the video to come out because I have no idea how it's going to go down, but one way or another, my truck is going to be chocolate. It's going to be the first Travis Scott Ford Ranger in the UK. My plan with it as well is to get big high profile wheels. I'm looking at 22 inch and then I'm going to spray them white. So it's going to have white wheels and a chocolate body with black details. So that is the colour of the wrap. I'll show you guys one more time now. Uh, I might lift it out of the box just so you can see it bounce on the light a little bit better and I am an absolute fan of that. That is one of the nicest wrap colours I've ever seen. Oh, I'm so excited now. I feel like a little kid opening a present at Christmas. So there's one more box to open. That is the satin black which I will be using to do some of the details on the car. It's, it's a little bit more matte than I was expecting, but it's got the satin look to it. That's what I'm going to de-chrome everything with on the car, and I might also add a couple satin black sections in as we go. But it's literally going to be freestyle, so I have no idea now what it's going to look like, but it's going to be fun and it's going to be cool. And hopefully you guys can see the truck rolling around the streets of Kent, London, wherever I'm about. And if you see it, remember to take a picture, tag me in it, and I'll repost it on my story. Because I love seeing you guys noticing my whips out and about. So that's, that's enough on the uh, truck wrap today. That will be coming over the next couple of weeks. Matt brings me on to this. So I want to talk about what I've got in store for the channel and where we're going over the next couple of months. So obviously we've got the big truck makeover coming, which is going to be like pimp my truck. It's going to be crazy. I have no idea where we're going to end up with that. I'm actually thinking about slamming it as well, lowering springs on it and making it as low as possible. Then we've got the i8, which Stuart is actually away on holiday at the moment. He's back in a week and a half. And then we will get going with that. All the parts put into the new one and then we're going to unwrap it and rewrap it as well. So that's going to be very, very exciting. We've got the E-Class Merc, which one of you actually asked me for an update on that. Um, Stephen Eden asked me for an update on the E-Class Merc. I will be doing one of them in the next couple of weeks. We haven't actually done anything with that because we're still waiting on some radiators to come from Germany, which haven't been delivered yet. So a lot of stuff's going on in the background in the pipelines that isn't interesting for YouTube, but is essential for the videos when they come out. Then we've also got the M4, which has now got a date for the wrap. That is gonna be wrapped on the 19th of July, so that video will be coming out very soon. It's gonna be done by Fresh Customs, who are a good friend of mine. They're around the corner, so I can't wait to see how that turns out. And we have a date for D-Max. It's the 11th of September when we set off from GVE and make our way to Paris, Lyon, 
Monaco and Barcelona. So that is all to look forward to in the next eight weeks and everything I have planned for that, the sponsors, the wrap, the remap, I've got enough time now and I'm gonna get it all done for then. So stay tuned, it's gonna be crazy. And then on the topic of the future of the channel, I want to push into some areas of rebuilding cars. I want to do some wide bodies. I want to do some engine rebuilds. I want to do some slamming of cars, wrapping of cars, and some more customizations because I think the UK at the moment is lacking somebody who is really, really customizing cars like RDBLA and places like that. So that's the direction I want to head into and go forward like that. So, so yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting, guys. Cool, I'm getting hot. Let me take this jacket off. Because I love you guys so much and I haven't given back to you since I gave the McLaren hats away, I'm going to be doing some giveaways over the next couple of months. How it's going to work is every time I hit a new thousand, I'm going to be doing a new giveaway and the old one's going to finish. So I'm at 26.35K at the moment, subscribers. When I hit 27, this giveaway is going to expire and a new one will start. So I'm kicking things off by giving away a pair of Jordans. These are Jordan 4 Retro Blues and this is what they look like. So if you want to win these, you need to be subscribing to the channel before we hit 27,000 subscribers. You need to comment under this video I've entered and you also need to go onto my Instagram post and like it, tag three friends and share to your story. But details will be on the Instagram post after this video goes live. So just head over to there, make sure you're following, follow the thing if you want to win these. They actually retail for about 160 quid, something like that, and they're going for over 450 now. So this giveaway ends as soon as I hit 27k on YouTube. May the games begin. Who knows what the next giveaway is going to be, but that'll be when I hit 28k. So fair game, eh? Fair game, guys. Just while we're sat here talking, um, I'd like to do some more car meets. I've got uh, some a big surprise coming for the YouTube channel over the next couple of weeks. Haven't announced it yet. Um, some of you might have a little inkling of what it is, but you probably don't. I'm going to be attending some more car meets and festivals. So if you've got any car meets and festivals that you think I could come to or you'd like me to attend, DM me on Instagram or comment under on YouTube and I will contact you as I'm active and I want to be out there meeting as many of you guys as possible and networking with other YouTubers and like-minded people. So car meets, festivals, shows, you name it, I'll be there. So hit me up on that regard. And then the main purpose for this video um, was because over the last couple of weeks I've seen a little bit of not so much negativity but more almost like a bit of disappointment people have with me and the content that I've been doing that they don't like it or they don't agree with it and um, it's quite hard for me to read and it's hard for me to to answer it in a way it's just hard for me to get this off my chest and I'd like to do it and nip it in the bud before it escalates so the reason I started YouTube, as I said earlier, was to document the repairs on cars that I've been doing so that when I sell them onto people, it makes it easier for them to trust me as a seller and they know what they're getting and they know the repairs done properly. Then things have spiralled and I started introducing you into my personal life and my business life and now it feels like the channel is here as an entertainment platform and I love that. That is, I couldn't have dreamed of being in this position six months ago and I'm so grateful for all of you guys that have subscribed and we're gonna grow it. We're gonna be at 100K soon, I know it, I know it. But people feel like I've lost the sense of direction of where the channel was going and the reason I started. But if I'm honest with you, I'm just becoming me. The whole time, I wouldn't say the whole time, but a lot of the videos I've created haven't been so much something I've wanted to do. I've done it because I feel like it's what people wanna watch. And trying to find the balance between what you guys wanna see and what I wanna do is what I'm trying to do at the moment. And whether that means me being out and about, not so much in the yard stuff all the time, then that's what it should be because if you guys appreciate the content, you'll appreciate whatever I'm up to and what I enjoy doing because that, that's, that's what it's ultimately about, is me showing you guys an insight into my life and what I do. And I don't just work at the yard and I don't just fix cars. There's a lot more to my character than, than that. But saying that, the main focus of the channel obviously is based around cars. So that's why I'm introducing some more builds and I'm doing bigger things on the future of this channel. There'll be plenty of stuff to do with the scrapyard as well coming this year, but that will be taken, not a backseat, but that is just a sub focus um, because that's not what the channel was made for and that's not what I see the direction of my life and the channel heading in. Obviously the scrapyard is still here, it's running, Ace Car Breakers, you guys love it, I love it, it's the family business and that's that. But as terms of the longevity of the channel, cars is the main focus and that's what we're gonna do. So I'm sorry if some of you guys have been disappointed. I may have been swearing a lot 
and uh, using bad language. And I'm sorry if your children have watched it and you've had to turn it off. That's not what I want. I don't want to be that guy. And um, any time from now on I have swearing in a video, I am going to put a disclaimer at the start, but I'm going to try my absolute best to not swear and not include it in it because you don't really need it and uh, it's pretty pointless. But that is my personality. I swear a lot in real life, so I was just coming across how I really am. But I understand that that's probably not the way to be on YouTube. So that's pretty much it, guys. And I just wanted to clear it up and, and just say thank you for everything you've done for me. Uh, the giveaways are coming and hopefully we can grow this community because it's just about connecting with other people like-minded, watching videos that you enjoy and having fun because there's so much stress in life. Life is all so stressful and I'm just trying to show you guys that you can have fun and you can enjoy yourself whilst living a busy life and being a businessman. You don't have to be tied down to just one thing. You see, I run the scrapyard and I do this, but that's not me. I've got so much other stuff to my personality as well and that's what I want to come across on camera. So the personal stuff is going to be coming along with the business, guys. So hope you've enjoyed today's video. It's a bit of a different style and the content coming is going to be nuts. So make sure you subscribe and uh, like this video. That's your boy HA. I'm out. And until next time, guys, love's real.